Oh, hey, you little dirty forkers. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> uh, uh, let's get it pumping. I'm looking away. Go tell mother I'm cooking the game. Flow like water bubbling up when you want me to make. Taking you back in the day. Feeling immaculate. Make action pack. Back Welcome back. What you to my room tour. This is the first time I've ever done a room tour. I've lived here like two years, which is bananas. So I wanted to show you, you know, what happens, you know, in the juice factory. Yes. <laughs> this little hallway is where I spend most of my time in my bedroom, mainly because I only occupy this side of the bed. And then this is my main closet. There was a time where obviously you guys know if you've been here for a while, this was like my hub because Peyton, my old roommate, occupied the other bedroom. But now I'm so grateful that I have another closet because this closet isn't very big. But we made it work and now it's a lot more organized. It used to be way more chaotic. This isn't a closet tour so I'm not gonna bore you too much but like these are all my tops, these are button downs, like these are all going out cutesy podcasting date night tops. Some shoes, workout stuff, sweats, workout stuff, sport bras and shit, pajamas, t-shirts. These are matching sets. These are noodies. Those are hoodies. This door <laughs> works perfectly. This door. This is my bed. My bed is from Restoration Hardware. It's forking expensive. People ask me if it's worth it. I'm like, I mean, I use it every day. It's the mattress that like makes a difference, you know? Did I need this bed? No, am I glad that I got it? Will I keep it for probably the next 10 years of my life? Probably. I really am grateful that I got it and splurged on it. It was probably my first ever big girl splurge that I ever made for myself that like I definitely didn't need. I love it. I think it looks really chic when everything's put together. The only thing that's a little scary is that it is indeed white. So you just have to be careful. Like you can't be like eating hot Cheetos in here, you know, which like I wouldn't recommend you doing anyway, but I know we've all been there. One of my favorite things about it is one, it comes with these really juicy pillows that I feel like make it look super chic. It's basically a platform bed. So there's like a platform around the entire bed. I love using the side of it, honestly, as like a mini nightstand because I'll put like my book there, my phone while it's charging. This I use all the time when I'm like folding clothes or as a tripod. So if you're a content creator, like play pack. <laughs> when I'm sleeping and I wake up, put it right here and be like, I just woke up. <laughs> and it's a good little tripod. That's the 411 with that. This is crazy, I never film in here. I know, you don't like- I need to film in here more. Room. Like, I feel like anytime I have friends over, they're like, your room's so cool. So I need to use, utilize it more. But one thing that I will say that I'm so grateful for is that like, I actually did finish it. This is the first room in my life that I feel like it's so me and it screams me and it like genuinely makes me happy. Like. I don't like, I guess, working in here because it's like my sanctuary and I come in here all the time and I'll like set the vibes. I'll like put on a candle, put on my diffuser, put on my show and then put on this like little neon sign. The neon sign is such a vibe at night. My mattress is from Helix. I working love it. Anyone that sleeps in this bed is like, what the heck is your mattress? And then my sheets and comforter are all from Brooklinen. It's the hotel lux something core set. I will link everything down below because y'all, if there's anything you wanna get from this bed situation, I would get the sheets. The Brooklyn and sheets made the biggest difference in my life. Then this lovely <laughs> uh, checkered blanket is from Lonely Ghost. And I freaking love it. It honestly feels like a Barefoot Dreams blanket, but it's like way cuter. And it adds so much pop to my room. And I swear everyone compliments me on it. Decorating your space, specifically your bedroom, if you're like a young girl, like me and who's single, like your bedroom should have character. You should be able to walk in the room and be like, oh, this is so TK. Because there's gonna be a point in our life where we literally are gonna get married and then we're gonna have neutral ass bedrooms and it's gonna be boring. Like, I think fucking refuse. Yeah. <laughs> I would never, I don't care right? who I marry, I'm not having a neutral bedroom. So, so. I know, I don't want that's I so neutrals. lame. Yeah. So that's why I think it's so important to add spice and color 
to your room, especially when you're a young, hot, single girl. Like me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I think any type of like spunky, fun, colorful blanket is such an easy and inexpensive way to spice up your room. This Lonely Ghost one is awesome. I think they have a black and white one as well, so I'll try and link it down below if they're still in stock. And these little cherries I got as a gift from Miss Taryn Renee. I think she got them on Amazon. But I think it's funny, one, because I love cherries, and then I'm like, who's gonna pop my cherry? That's just my like, dad just the line, just the line that any man that walks I, in here, you're like, so. Who's gonna pop it? This basketball hoop is from CB2. It is probably my favorite thing in my room. I think it adds so much spice, but it's also like so subtle because it's white, but it's like really cool. And I like that it's not just I guess a painting or a frame of something, like it's 3D. And everyone was worried about when I first got it, they were like, mm, what if an earthquake happens? You guys, this shit is not coming down. I had this man come into my house and lock that shit into the wall. Anyway, I think it's so chic and so cool. They have a black one. I think the white might be sold out, but I'll, again, I'll try and link everything down below. Above it is a little scoreboard that Miss Remy Ashton got for me as a gift. It does turn on, it does tell you the time. I think you can like set alarms and shit on it, which is really cool. Imagine having like a guy here and he literally like hits it like on the buzzer from yeah. the alarm. <laughs> it's like talking. <laughs> Red basketball. <laughs> oh yeah, you do. I'm gonna show you my nightstand really quickly. It is from Wayfair. Honestly, I don't love my nightstands. They do the job. I'm just too lazy to like get rid of them and then like, get new ones and build them. They do the job, but would I recommend them? Mm. They're a dupe for, I think, a crate and barrel nightstand. They're just much smaller than I would like them to be, but at the end of the day, I don't have space to put something much bigger here. I do like though how there's a drawer and there is like a little shelf. Like in here I have my journal, my books, another journal, my coloring book. My <laughs> cartoon stoner coloring book. Clearly I haven't used it in a while. Am I a stoner? Absolutely not. <laughs> do I think this is funny? Yeah, like look. Like that's yes. so good. Yes. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, this is my favorite. So funny with the hookah. I got this off of Amazon, I'll link it down below. I was not myself these past six months because I was going through a quarter life crisis and I think I was a little down bad. And coloring literally made me feel happy. If you're going through it and you can't get out of your funk, I definitely recommend ordering an adult coloring book and go crazy. It's a fun thing to do at night before bed instead of like scrolling, comparing yourself, being on social media, etc. I also love doing it while I have TV on so I can like do two things at once because I hate when I'm on my phone watching TV. I highly recommend coloring. I also highly recommend getting a journal and a good book on your nightstand. So if you turn around, which I can show, this is a nice big fat juicy mirror from Ikea, which I love because when I'm getting ready in the closet space, I'm gonna come out and be like, does my outfit look cute? Over here, this is the back of my bedroom door. I have all my leather jackets plus this like denim jacket and then this puffer. These are the jackets I like grab the most, especially like for going out or date nights or whatever. This is my beloved gallery wall that, no offense, but I feel like I slayed. Don't come for me in the comments if something's crooked. I don't fucking care, it's my room, you don't have to be in here. It's fun for me to look at, okay? First of all, this is my TV that it took forever to get hung up. It swivels, which like, I don't know why I would need it to swivel, but like if I'm on the Peloton, work out. Yeah. Let's talk through the gallery wall. This is something I always knew I wanted to do because one, I love prints. Two, I came out with my own prints with Ron Rebellious. I think we sold out, but there might be a few left, so I will link them down below. If not, I think the best place in the world to get prints are from Ron Rebellious. I think they're so affordable, they're so cheeky. They're perfect for a girl like me who's living alone in a big city. And they just add so much spice to your room without being super expensive. Like I don't have the money to buy a Van Gogh. I got all of my frames from I think Hobby Lobby or Michael's, one of those. This one is from Ron Rebellious. I think it's so funny. He was definitely a red flag, but red is my favorite color. So what a do baby. <laughs> this is again, another Ron Rebellious staple. It says you're so full of shit. This came from my collab. I think it's so cute. It has the cowgirl boot the disco, the red. Basically all these prints almost all have a hint of red or just juice in them. And this is the juice factory. So I wanted spice, I wanted color. 
I didn't want simple. And I wanted the room to reflect me and the things that I love. Moving right along. This one says, I'm sorry I roasted you. I was trying to flirt. That's literally how I flirt. So it just makes sense. Again, rotten rebellious. This Michael Jordan one is from the Melrose Trading Post. I love it. It's so cool and cute. This Louis Vuitton Paris one is again from the Melrose Trading Post. I think it's cute. I'm like kind of over it now because I'm just like not as into logos like this, but whatever, like it's cute for a girl's room. This one I love, it's so cheeky. It's an Alexander McQueen print. I got it at the Melrose Trading Post. Up here is a map of my hometown, Bloomington, Indiana. My mom got this print for me and I think it's really cute. This is a blurry cowgirl hat and like champagne flutes. Just like reminds me of like a good girl's night, you're a little tipsy, you come home. I love this print, it's from Ron Rebellious. These are coordinates of my hometown. Clearly I'm obsessed with my hometown, but it's just like I miss my family, let me be. This is from Decenio. Oh, these are both from Decenio. This one is a Prada in the middle of Texas. I just think it's cool because I feel like this is me in the middle of Indiana. You know? Wait, this. it's actually like Loki a good metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Budweiser neon sign. They sent it to me and I freaked out. I just love neon signs. I don't know, it adds character in here. This is like my pride and joy. It's so fun having a neon sign in here, especially at night because the city lights come in and then the red light comes in and it's just vibey, I love it. These are the last few prints. These are golf clubs up at the top, like irons. And then this is a tennis racket. I think they're really cute. I got them from Decenio. They're very me because I love playing golf and tennis. Up here are my final two Ron Rebellious prints. I have one more in my bathroom. This one's actually my favorite Ron Rebellious print. It's the wet paint one. Those are indeed my lips. I'm telling you, the juice factory is juicy for a reason. <laughs> and then this is another one of my favorites, just a disco cowgirl moment. This is my little desk area, which I sometimes use to take Zoom calls. Honestly, I don't use it as much as I probably should. This is where I used to do all of my makeup and everything before I had my second bedroom. But I love this desk. I won't be getting rid of it anytime soon. It's from a CB2, I almost said House of CB. I'm like, you get four sets and desks there. It has two drawers in it, which is really convenient. I love this material though, because if I spill anything, like. It's not gonna stain. This is one of my favorite mirrors ever. It's from Glamcore and the brand, like the specific brand is Ricky Ricky, but watch this. Oh, like the lighting is insane. I used this forever doing my makeup before I had my bigger mirror and I could not recommend it enough. I think it's so cute. It also is a great light in my bedroom when I need it. Cause if you live in an apartment building that's like on the newer side, I feel like most of them don't have overhead lights unless you install something. And obviously I'm not going to do that. It takes so much effort. So life hack, get one of these vanity mirrors and you can use it as a light at night. This right here is a cutie little fake plant that I'm actually obsessed with. It's from Target. This is a little candle my friend Christina got me. It says anti-hangover, which I think is so funny. It smells great. This is my beloved mini lighter. It's like a Bic lighter, but the lighter case is Versace, which I think is so funny. Alicia got me this. I never in a million years would think to buy this for myself, but you know what? As a gift, you best believe I'm gonna use it. Like, look how cute. I'm obsessed. This is a little rose quartz crystal because as we all know, I am indeed getting a boyfriend this summer. <laughs> yeah, the biggest crystal growing So ever. with that being said, I just got it. No, I'm kidding. It's literally been here for years. I think I genuinely got it in a PR package. So slay. These are two little, I guess, paper holder slash organizer things from the container store. And on here, I just have a cute little note from Peyton. I love keeping notes from people. This is from my old roommate. This is a Polaroid of myself, pretty narcissistic. If you ask me, I think a brand sent me this, but I think it's a cute Polaroid, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. This is my prized possession. I used to be obsessed with it. It's a vintage Teen Vogue handbook. I remember I literally made my mom buy this for me. I'll never get rid of it. It's so cool. I've read basically every page in here because all I wanted to do was go to fashion school and be a little fashion school girly when I was younger. This is a little like chewy journal my mom got me that I just like can't get rid of. This is my diploma, I guess. Is it? Yeah, my bachelor's. Oh, see, this is another 
No, this is from Alicia. This is my beloved Peloton. This room serves as a bedroom and a gymnasium due to the fact that I do have a bike and a basketball hoop in here. Basically, when you live in an apartment in Los Angeles and you don't have any room, the Peloton goes in the room. For some reason, I just can't get myself to move it to the second bedroom. It just like adds character in here. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas of where I should put this Peloton because I can't get rid of it because I love it. It's not very, I guess, aesthetic in my room. However, it is black and red, which is the aesthetic <laughs> of my room. So it kind of matches. I have this awesome bookshelf that fits perfectly in this corner of my room. I'm obsessed with it. It's from West Elm. It is chic, but also so practical. Up at the top, I have this hot girl shit Benefit Cosmetics candle. This is a painting from my ex-boyfriend's dad. <laughs> I can't get rid of it because it's cool. These are all of my books and journals and things. This is one of my favorite books on here. It is a Time Annual 1997, the year in review book. And it, I love it because it was the year I was born. This I got, I think at TJ Maxx, like years and years and years ago. And then I keep pretty much every card anyone has ever given me. And I usually put them in here. There was a time where I really needed a drawer to put shit in. Like this is just like a shit drawer. And then over here, another nightstand. Oh, I forgot to talk about my lamp. My lamps are from Target. They're okay. They do the job. This is my really personal <laughs> image. Um, it's called five by seven. I really need to get a photo to put in this. These are my little coasters, which I like literally never use, but they're just aesthetic. I got them from Amazon. This is my Bible. I love it because my grandpa gave it to me hmm. and it's custom and says Taylor King and has dust all over it. So <laughs> it just goes to show like how often I read it. And <laughs> now I'm dying from the dust. Wait a damn minute. I underlined in this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm, Bible study. I'm such a good so. Christian girl. <laughs> These are bikinis. <laughs> Overflow of bikinis. Slay. Yeah, that's pretty much my room tour. I will link everything down below. Oh, I forgot my rug. It's from Ruggable. But one more thing I wanted to say is I feel like the star of the show that you guys don't get to see most of the time is obviously this insane window that's like why you can't why you can't see it because then i become a silhouette there's nothing like this room on a sunny blue day i love seeing the view of the city i love the chaos i love feeling like i'm in my little cloud looking at everything above it's definitely the star of the show and is the reason why i love living downtown so much because i love being so high up and i'm truly living my sex in the city girl life something about the sun streaming in and being able to watch the sunrise every morning if i wanted to from my bedroom is what makes me so happy. I love my room. It is near and dear to my heart. I obviously am in it every day. Be sure to make someone's day this week. Listen to my podcast at Making Moves. Follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram at TK's Juicy Polls. I'll link everything down below. I love you guys. Peace.